clarity about the organization vision as well as the strategy to achieve this vision is an extremely important driver for employee engagement. Vision as we all know is essentially an inspiring image of the future that sets the direction for the enterprise. And the strategy is the means by which this vision can be achieved. A clear vision and a robust strategy gives much confidence to the larger employee populace that they are collectively headed in the right direction. One of the finest examples of this comes from the deft leadership provided by the late Mr. Y.C. Dineshwar while he was at the helm of ITC Limited. Mr. Deveshwar passed away last week and may his soul rest in peace. The most interesting part of the growth story that he charted for the company involves the development of vision and the strategy to achieve the same. ITC had always been concerned about promoting the national interest. That is, the interest of India and its people as a whole. Mr. Deveshwar set a clear objective for the company to put India first, even as he sought to convert ITC into a value creation engine that could provide superior returns not only to its shareholders but all the other stakeholders at large. So, the twin pillars of the vision were the service of national interest and the generation of very high returns. To achieve this vision, of course, he put in place a set of values such as integrity, authenticity, ethics, meritocracy, teamwork. But most interestingly, there were five elements of the organization strategy that eventually led to outstanding success. The first of these was diversification. ITC was largely a cigarette company until that time and YCD realized that this was not sustainable in the light of societal changes. So, he invested into paperboard, hotels and other greenfield areas so as to establish multiple engines of growth for the company. Second, he harnessed internal strengths for every new area of business. For example, the blending of tobacco had been perfected as an art by ITC over decades. He employed this capability into the blending of wheat that arrived at the company uh, case from several different farms so as to customize the ATA that ITC Foods would supply to each different region in the country. Third, through each of our, Ms. Deveshwar sought to promote the national interest. Each of our was and remains one of the only initiatives of this kind that has sustained and has shed a shining example for what is possible in reforming and improving Indian agriculture to the benefit of the nation, the farmers as well as the consumers. The fourth pillar of Mr. Deveshwar's strategy was to focus on triple bottom line performance that is people, profits and planet altogether. His remarkable turnaround of ITC Bhadrachala whereby ITC invested into growing trees on wasteland such that the farmers could reap tremendous returns. ITC could source the farm produce for manufacturing paper and the greenery so generated acted as an environmental boost. Finally, he established a robust mechanism for corporate governance. A three-tier system of governance was put in place whereby the operational, the strategic and governance responsibilities of the company were assigned to different committees. In this manner, it delivered exemplary returns of over 23% CAGR over a period of more than two decades and established ITC as an organization of 
sterling repute, not just in India, but across the world. May Mr. Deveshwar's soul rest in peace. Thank you.